Okay, go ahead and pause the video for a minute and give this question a shot. Okay, give the name and symbol of the prefixes used with SI units to indicate multiplication by the following exact quantities. Okay, 10 to the third, that's a quantity of a thousand. That denotes kilo, which is capital K. 10 to the negative two, that is uh, one hundredth. That denotes centi, which is a lowercase c. Point one is deci, lowercase d. 10 to the negative third is one thousandth. That's milli, uh, lowercase m. A million. Mega, capital M, and one one millionth is micro, which is denoted with a mu or sometimes just a u, like this. Okay, a large piece of jewelry has a mass of 132.6 grams. A graduated cylinder initially contains 48.6 mils of water. When the jewelry is submerged in the graduated cylinder, the total volume increases to 61.2 milliliters. Determine the density of this piece of jewelry. So for a question like this, I think it helps to kind of draw a picture. We'll draw our graduated cylinder. It's got these graduations on the side so we can count how much, we can measure how much liquid is in there. Um, and it has some volume. And it says that the volume before anything is put in there is 48.6. And then we're going to put the jewelry inside, a large piece of jewelry inside. So when we do that, then the level of the liquid raises inside of the beaker. Here's our large piece of jewelry. So we put our jewelry inside, and now, it's hard to see here, 61.2 mils is what is, uh, the volume is now. So what we're trying to determine is the volume of this piece of jewelry, because remember, the density is equal to the mass over the volume. So um, I've got the mass here, 132.2 six grams. So I already have the mass. Now I just need to figure out the volume of this piece of jewelry. So I have two numbers here already, and I might be tempted to think that the volume is one of these two numbers, but in fact it's neither of these. The volume is this distance here to here. The level that the uh, liquid in the container was at before, and now the level that the liquid of the container is in now. So this distance right here is really the distance that I'm after, and it's neither of these numbers. In fact, it's the difference, 61.2, it's hard to, sorry, it's hard to draw dots here on this, 61.2 mils minus 48.6 mils. So when I... solve this one, I solve for 132.6 grams divided by the difference 61.2 minus 48.6. Sorry, I had to put these numbers into the calculator here. 10. 0.52 grams per milliliter, right? Because I had grams, let's see if I can write mil over here. I had grams in the numerator, and I have milliliters in the denominator, so the density is 10.52 grams per milliliter. And this says, assuming the jewelry is made from only one substance, what substance is it likely to be? So. Um, a density is a, um, a property that's unique to a, um, to a substance, generally. So if I pull up this table 
of densities here. we go. Our density is 10.52 grams and according to my table here 10.5 grams that is silver. So if it's made of only one substance then it's made of silver because silver has a density of 10.5 grams per milliliter.